Which sport do you think will be played in the most expensive stadium ever built? If you said American football, you're right. This is the story of Atlanta's $1.6 billion Mercedes-Benz Stadium that's set to open by the end of the summer. It will be home to the world's most spectacular roof and will be the first NFL stadium to achieve the highest certification in leadership in energy and environmental design. For a roof to open in this fashion, with eight pedals that actually move in a straight line, we can't find another precedent ever in the world. The roof was inspired by the Oculus in the ancient Roman pantheon and takes the retractable concept to a whole nother level. The first retractable roof in a major sports venue was Civic Arena, home to the Pittsburgh Penguins, and the first large stadium to have a ceiling that opened to the stars was Toronto's Sky Dome. Not only will Mercedes-Benz have the most complex roof ever constructed, but its ridiculous 58-foot tall Halo video board will be three times larger than the one in Jacksonville, the reigning king of LED displays. The project also landed the city the Atlanta United, an MLS expansion franchise that began play this year. Mechanized curtains will cover the upper deck during matches, providing the more intimate feel common to other MLS venues. This entire stadium effort doubles down on the success of its predecessor, the Georgia Dome. It was the only facility in the world to play host to the Olympics, Super Bowl, and Final Four. Atlanta's centralized location is part of the secret to its success as a sports mecca. It has by far the busiest airport in the United States, making it the most convenient spot in the country to travel to. The new stadium is already scheduled to hold championships for the next three years. 2018's College Football Playoff National Championship, Super Bowl 53 in 2019, and the 2020 NCAA Final Four. I think downtown Atlanta is very unique. Uh, the stadium itself is very unique. I think it sends the right message to many cities in terms of public-private partnerships that are honored in the NFL. As co-founder of The Home Depot in 1978, Blank has built an empire selling quality products that people use every day. To achieve the elusive Platinum LEED certification, the stadium is using tons of recyclable materials and will have 4,000 solar panels to generate enough renewable electricity to power 9 Falcons home games. Overall, it will use 29% less electricity than a baseline stadium of its size. It will collect millions of gallons of rainwater for HVAC cooling towers and for irrigating the surrounding landscape that will include edible blueberry bushes and apple trees. The project was even recognized by the Obama administration for its commitment to sustainability. It became apparent that platinum was within reach, and that really excited me to know that we could be the first professional stadium to reach platinum. That's why I came here from Seattle. I wanted to be a part of this project because Arthur's commitment to quality and Arthur's commitment to doing the right thing. The stadium will be financed by about $550 million of public money, with the majority coming from a tax on local hotel bookings through the year 2050. This funding scheme makes sense from a local perspective. Let the out-of-town visitors pay for it. It also seems like a win-win for Atlanta residents and their city council members who approved the project. Still, $550 million is a lot of money for citizens of the state of Georgia to spend on a stadium, especially one whose primary tenant will be the richest sports league in the world. That 7% tax on hotel rooms could have gone to many other things that would enrich people's lives more in the long run rather than the immediate gratification of building a shrine to sports stars. Still, hosting so many massive events will also have economic benefits for the city, not to mention the sense of pride and prestige it will bring to downtown. Atlanta quarterback and reigning NFL MVP Matt Ryan, who was just one magical Tom Brady drive away from a championship, summed up the excitement surrounding the new stadium. Atlanta is such a great town, and you know, for hosting events that are coming in, this stadium is going to be unbelievable. But for us to have it as, as our home field and um, it's going to be the best in the NFL. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to play in it, and it's going to be a great home field advantage for us. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this series, check out part one on Turkey's building boom, or our recent look at the infrastructure projects across America that are sorely needed. Both examinations sparked constructive dialogue about how best to position our societies for the future. Until next time, for TDC, I'm Bryce Plank.